right. So today we uh, we see a culmination of my transcranial direct current stimulation um, experiments. I am currently under the influence of about 600 milligrams of primaracetam, two DMAE capsules, which I took about 10 to 15 minutes ago. I am stimulating the right interior temporal lobe and I have the cathode on the left interior temporal lobe and I have in this ear isochronic tones for 12 hertz of alpha brainwave entrainment playing and so basically what I'm doing for the first time is combining all of the technology that I have been experimenting with together in an effort to hopefully uh, see some really awesome cognitive enhancement uh, gains. Um, I'm about to play the or take the savant test again. Uh, I took it once without any kind of stimulation and scored a zero out of five. I took it twice w during stimulation after only being stimulated for a few minutes and I got zero out of five and zero out of five. Fifteen minutes after uh, transcranial direct current stimulation to the right interior temporal lobe, um, I scored a three out of five. Well, I thought that was pretty significant, but then in the Reddit community had pointed out to me that I might have just gotten better at the test. So I took it again, scored 0 out of 5. I took it again, scored 1 out of 5. Now, after this uber stimulation, we'll see how well I do. Yay! In the meantime, I'd like to share some of my test results from other tests that I've taken. I was using the dual NBAC software uh, and taking dual NBAC tests. Um, and, you know, I've done it a couple times so I know how it works. Um, I'm actually, because of Lumosity, I've gotten really good at the, the two back test. Uh, but they only do one uh, two back test, they don't do a dual two back test on Lumosity. So when I was doing this one, um, the first time around I ended up scoring 2.4 and basically what that means was a grand total of if you score high enough you can move on to three back tests so I got 11 in the two back test range and then nine different times I got all the way up to three back but I never scored high enough to move beyond three back well then, I decided to stimulate the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex with an anode from my transcranial direct current stimulation device uh, and for about 20 minutes and then take, start taking these dual and back tests. I jumped to 2.8 and the reason why was because while I was still in the two back tests seven times, I made it to three back ten times and then I made it to four back three times. And honestly, I would have done better, but I actually messed up on one because I accidentally thought I was doing a, two back, a three back test, but I was really doing a two back. So you can imagine, I screwed that one up entirely. I think I would have actually at least scored one more three back at that point. The point is though, this shows me beyond a shadow of a doubt that stimulation to the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex with transcranial direct current stimulation is definitely effective. It works the way that they say it's going to work. Um, it excites the neurons and your working memory does increase. I have further evidence to show that because um, I decided I was going to engage in uh, Lumosity brain training games there's a section for assessments that you could take and uh, I took all the assessments now here's the interesting thing I took all the assessments while I was stimulated first so that I could eliminate um, 
test wiseness. So it couldn't say, hey, I'm getting better at the test. If I take them stimulated first and then take them again unstimulated, because of test wiseness, if nothing happens, I should still score better than the first time I took them. Anyway, and if something does happen, at very least, we can prove that transcranial direct current stimulation actually decreases the, the learning curve. So if I score the same amount, then that means that I kicked off the, the necessity for a learning curve by being stimulated. But my results were actually different than both of those scenarios. After taking all, I think there's 16 total assessments on Lumosity, various little games or whatever uh, that require a level of thinking and memory. Um, all of them I took while stimulating the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. I then took them all after weeks of not using any nootropics or being stimulated at all. I was completely and totally normal headed at this point. I took them all again and uh, one of the tests, one of the assessments, I scored an equal score. Three of the assessments I actually did better on. The remaining 12, I did worse. So that means that I got a, I decreased my score 75% of the time and increased only 19%. So collectively, I actually performed somewhere around 57% worse in these cognitive games when not stimulated. And that was the second time around unstimulated, which means that test wiseness did not play, didn't have a factor in that at all. So my conclusion is dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, while stimulated, is very effective. Now, the thing is, is as much as I like the idea of increasing my working memory, I like even more the idea of turning off the left hemisphere of my brain and turning on the right so that I can... Um, acquire some of these savant skills. Anybody who knows me or has read Get Limitless could probably pick up the fact that I am obsessed with the idea of savant abilities and I want to figure out how to induce them. And so I started um, stimulating the right anterior uh, temporal lobe and from what I read that supposedly increases your ability to recognize objects. Um, there were a couple articles done by people who stimulated that area and then did uh, combat simulation training and uh, did very well because of their ability to quickly react to uh, basically the bad guys with guns on the screen. At any rate, so I was playing all the Lumosity games. Unfortunately, um, because of their scoring mechanism, uh, the more you play the games, the higher your, your BPI is, regardless of whether or not you scored better or not. But there was one game in particular that um, I noticed was being affected by the right anterior temporal lobe uh, being stimulated. And I wanted to show y'all that... Now, here's the thing. Like I said, the more you play the games, the higher your BPI goes. But even here, you'll notice... Look, I'm stimulated up, 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 and then all of a sudden, my even my BPI starts going down. But that's just the BPI. Let's look at the score history of this game. It's called Raindrops. It's where little raindrops with m very simple math problems appear, and then you have to solve them and dissipate the raindrop before it hits the before it hits the bottom. Anyway, let's look at the last 50 games score history. You'll notice. Da, 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 up, up, up. Obviously, I was having a bad day there. Um, but, you know, for the most part, it's on an upward trajectory. And then all of a sudden, I stop stimulating. Bam. Now, this is all dorsolateral prefrontal cortex stimulation, too. I didn't start stimulating the right anterior temporal lobe till about here. So then I'm on a steady climb, steady climb. I'm doing really good. And then after that, I stop stimulating altogether. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of significant uh, with my uh, experimenting currently with the uh, right anterior temporal lobe, uh, just to see that I felt 
that it was making a difference and this scoring uh, actually shows that it might have been making somewhat of a difference in my ability to um, recognize objects. Now that was when the cathode was on my left shoulder. Um, I didn't actually think to use the cathode to turn off uh, any neuron excitability in my brain until I started uh, studying Snyder's um, research on savants and his work with transcranial magnetic stimulation. So in an effort to emulate some of that, I am now connected in this uh, super um, brain enhancement way so that I could hopefully see some results from that. At any rate, I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, savant test soon and um, yeah, I'll see you then. Alright, so after stimulation, I took the savant test again and once again, scored 3 out of 5. So time and time again, I score zero out of five, and one lucky chance I scored one. But both times I was stimulated, I scored three out of five. In this particular instance, two of the three were dead on. You only have to get within five to actually pass. Two of the three were dead on. So I'd have to say that um, there might be something to Snyder's ideas that turning off the left hemisphere of the brain while exciting the right hemisphere could actually lead to savant-like capabilities. At any rate, so that is my data I compiled for TDCS. Uh, stimulation with the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex absolutely increases working memory. In uh, certain circumstances under the right conditions, stimulation of the right anterior temporal lobe does seem to increase awareness of objects and it does seem to turn on certain uh, savant-like abilities. If anything, it makes you much more aware of details. Self-experimentation chronicles continue. Brain enhancement through machinery is a go. Cross-modulation of multiple uh, techniques of brain enhancement does not appear to be necessary. Uh, I don't feel like I got any more of a uh, boost from using um, nootropics and in training with alpha brainwave entrainment and also stimulating uh, with TDCS. I did find uh, enhancement to be increased when I use nootropics and entrainment in beta. I did alpha today and I feel like that might have actually slowed me down a little but I'm not sure that that actually had any effect on the TDCS. But I am going to get some new nootropics. And I will do some more TDCS in the future. But for now, that's my data, and I hope that you all enjoyed. Take care.